Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Wolves and welcome to a game called The Return to Bloody Nights. Now, this is another Five Nights at Freddy's FNAF fan game. I was going to play one um, that was, I believe it was fully out, but I wanted to check out this demo. Plus, I want to try to get another video out um, as well, so I'll try to pick a short one. But anyways, this is a FNAF fan made horror game. Oh my goodness, this actually kind of looks pretty good. So this is game demo version 1.3, and I don't really know Bloody Nights. I guess it was a game, I don't, I guess this is a sequel because it says The Return To, and it doesn't just say Bloody Nights, but who knows. Maybe I can play the first one, uh, I maybe will try. But anyways, let's hop into a new game here, and I forgot to turn up my volume, that's great. I'll turn it up after. Uh, oh, well. Hello, Henry. Why are you calling so late now? I... I don't feel well. I'm afraid that everything will not go as we... planned. What if... Oh, hey. Calm down. Everything is under control. We have already discussed this more than once. If you do what I told you... About it. Trust me, everything will be quiet. You know well what will happen if we get caught anyway. Yes, but if you stop being nervous and just stay silent at least, the chances that we will be suspected will disappear. Oh, shoot. I don't know what I just did. Okay. Monday. I don't know what I did. I pressed space and it closed the whole game. Um, so I don't know what that was all about. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, hi, it's me, Karen. This week I have to finish my shift early, so I can't stay longer to meet and talk with you. I so thought that was I the thing. decided to leave you an audio cassette every day before I leave. Our boss has appointed me to inform you about the rules and how to behave in some special situations that relate to your new position. Alas, due to some recent incidents, the management demanded a guard for the night shift. I know you've been hired as a costume briefing assistant, but trust me, out of all the other staff, only you can handle this position. The salary will be good, no doubt. Also, if you can finish this week without any problems, then you'll also be given a voucher for the briefing. Oh, Whoa. Good, isn't it? warn you right away that if there are violations of the rule, your salary may be lowered or you may even be fired. So please listen to what I tell you, okay? Okay. The most important thing in your job is that you do not allow any damage to the equipment or other properties of the pizzeria. So I would advise you to simply stay in your seat unless necessary. Only resort to extreme measures if you notice someone or something breaking into the pizzeria from the outside. There have been no such instances, but just Case, then we want you to act as carefully as possible. What is that? I want to note that the cameras record everything that happens in case something does not go according to plan. Wait, now what? Let's talk about the office and your personal safety. In front of you, there is a oh. video surveillance system on which you can observe everything in the yep. building. There are mechanical doors on the east and west sides that you can close in case of an emergency or. Oh, yes, I forgot to remind you. Our bosses value and take care of all the equipment very much, but especially the P3 of mascots in the form of animatronics. Lately, workers have noticed that the animatronics are wandering around the P3 at night for some unknown reason. Our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, but the working theory is that the robots have been introduced, so to speak a new night mode that was just a little underdeveloped. So when it gets quiet and dark, they think they're in the wrong room, so they go and try to find where people are. 
other a loud noise or light. Unfortunately, in this case, that place would be your office. Mm. So if you see any wandering animatronics walking up to you, avoid any contact with them and just close the doors by clicking on the appropriate button. Our bosses do not want you oh, to touch awesome. them, and therefore it's just better to be aware of them and close the doors at the right time. This should scare off the mask off a little, and then hopefully, if you get lucky, they'll just wander off in the opposite direction. All right. We haven't tested this out, so you'll be the first one trying this method. Oh. Oh, I would continue talking to you, but I gotta go. Remember my advice? Inspect the pizzeria through the video surveillance system. Keep your eyes open, and do not let the animatronics get too close to you. Don't forget that you have a flashlight, as this place can get quite dark. Okay, I wish you good luck and a good night. See you in the morning. Bye. Uh, bye. Okay, so things I'm noticing. You can click these guys. They make little noises. Huge success. There's... I don't know who that is. William Afton, probably. You have the William Afton up here. You can click Freddy's nose. Make a boop sound. Okay. So, one thing that I saw... This. I thought this was a hand. I don't know what this is. Maybe it is something. Oh! Oh, I have a flashlight. Do I, oh, shoot. Okay. Sure, I'm... Oh, crap. Oh, cruds. Better not be here. Okay, where is he? Oh, never mind. I see him. Okay, it's actually kind of dark for me. For you guys, it's it's kind of there, but you, can, you guys can see it enough. Whoa, what was that? It's like a camera glitch or something. Okay, one thing. So I know this is a demo, but what is this? I if there's like a puppet with a baby face coming out. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I, why? Why does it have to be like that? I didn't know we had uh, a flashlight here. Whenever I closed this, this kind of got me a little bit. It kind of jumped me. Um, mostly because I didn't realize it. Camera is a little stanky. <laughs> oh, whoa. Hi. How are you? Yo! Okay, that's something. That's something that you can actually keep in touch with. So it's actually like breathing. That's actually kind of cool. You can actually like see the animatronic breathing. See, this is what they need in these games. They need to create a Five Nights at Freddy's game where the animatronics move in the cameras. I know it's been done maybe before by other people, but... I mean, I'm talking about, like, there's no static in the cameras whenever they move. Now, maybe whenever they want to teleport, and then it goes static, like that, I'm fine with that. That's just too good. That is really too good. So, I don't know if this is one night. Um, I should have probably checked up on it, but I do hope this is, like, two nights because he's not really attacking that much. And I want them to attack a little bit, see how the doors work. To be honest, I barely could hear what they said. And I don't have my volume all the way up. I should probably change that. Let me do that right now. Okay, whoa, whoa. whoa. Is that over by my office? Oh! Wait, is that... Okay, never mind. Okay. Sure. I... I literally turn up my volume. I come back and I hear movement. Wow. Okay. We're still fine, though. We're still fine. Um... I guess I, I don't... I don't know what to do. I, I mean... Close the doors, but... Oh, shoot. Oh! Okay, that's my... Okay, that's my right. The right hole. 
Oh man. Oh man. He's breathing. Now, if I do shine my light on him, if can I shine my light on him when he's in the hallway? Is that something that I can do or else is he going to kill me if I do that? Oh, he's moving closer. Yo. That's Oh, come on. No. We didn't get to see him. Alright, well, 6 a.m. That's fine. Oh. What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Okay. Sure. I I guess. What is payday? Saturday challenges? Extras achievements. We got achievements? I can't get that. Okay. You know what? Let's move on to Tuesday. Hey William. Hey Henry. Listen. Oh I can't handle this anymore, Will. I wait. I think what? I can't help you anymore with your actions. What? I am so sorry, William. I feel worse every day. Helping you oh, do is this William after these him? awful things is making me suffer, and I cannot continue like this. No, no, you cannot leave like this. After all things that we have done, you are responsible as well. Yes, yes, and that's exactly why I'm refusing to continue doing these things. I have a daughter, Will. She's so this my is family. Him. I care about her. What if? What if I get arrested? She will be alone. She can't be without me. I told you that everything is under control, and you should not be worrying about it. We discussed this hundreds of times. So, only now. Have you started to think differently? I am truly sorry, but I am done. I don't want to be involved with your crimes anymore. But in return for letting me go, I will tell no one what you and I have done. I will keep my mouth shut. I still can't believe you are doing this. You remember that we also had to continue building those new robots, right? I need you for that work. You are a master of that type of engineering. From this moment forward, it's up to you, William. I did almost all that you needed from me. I believe you can finish the rest of the work on your own. You are a coward. You know that. I am what I am, but I don't want to help you any further. I just want you... I need you to understand that. There will be consequences from your decision. I... I know that. This will not be easy for you to leave. Soon, you will know what I mean. Oh no. Henry, you better watch your kid. Alright, Tuesday. I believe, I guess it's a two-night demo. As of all, you know, demos should probably be. So, night number two. Let's do it. Damn, this thing started reporting. Oh, oh, oh yeah, hi. Hi. It's Karen here again. Here comes the second hi, night. Hi, Karen. Well done. There were no physical breakdowns and everything was in its place. I still believe that by the end of the week, you will be able to finish your shift without any problems. Unless, of course, <laughs> uh, some vandal or thief breaks in, but that probably won't happen. Have any of the animatronic characters started? Yes. I wasn't able to watch the reported camera feed today, but since you didn't report anything, everything is probably Why do I right. report things? Uh, I wanted to ask you, how do you like your new uniform? 
the uniform was issued just recently to all employees. By the way, I had a hand in the design of this uniform, and I'm super proud of it. I always dreamed of working in a different field, but here I was happy to do something other than guarding during the day. Maybe someday the I'll heck? get out of here and Whoa. become a fashion designer. Only in my dreams, I guess. Uh, okay. Today I was given a sheet with some important information about our management and founders of the pizzeria. I was asked to read it to you, but the text is quite long and I don't have enough time to read everything, so I'll try to paraphrase. While I read, don't forget to check the cameras, as it's really important that you keep your eyes open the whole time. Okay, let's see. Founders of Fred Bear's Family Diner are two people. Henry Emily, Chief Engineer in Robotics, designer and creator of all main animatronics, and William Afton, who also works in the robotics field. Is that field, something? He's mostly responsible for the financial statements of the establishment. The two men met at the university and planned to open some kind of small diner. But after many years, they finally succeeded, and in 1979, when a small company named Fazbear Entertainment founded the first establishment called Fredbear's Family Diner was built. The main feature of the pizzeria are two robotic characters, a robot bear named Fred Bear and a robot rabbit named Spring yep. Both of them became local stars and soon the place became very popular. Fazbear Entertainment has received a large budget and has already managed to build another nearby pizzeria with a new updated cast of mm -hmm. characters and already has more plans for the future. Cool. Recently, our establishment has begun to lose popularity because of other new establishments in our town. As I understand it, our engineers are developing new versions of the characters to try to bring popularity back to the diner. I heard that they may start using the new animatronics this week, as it turns out the old ones may be impossible to fix. Or they don't want to? I don't know. It's Excuse me? Hello? To allow. Somebody the touching my- ones are much better and they use kind of different technology. Uh, I'll let you know as soon as there is any news on this matter. So, um, all I need from you is that you stay alert. Until the new robots are delivered, the old ones will continue to bother you, but don't worry. I'm sure you can do it. I personally think this job is going to be easy as long as you remain in your seat. Check the cameras and make the least noise possible. Remember, if you notice that animatronics has made it to your doors, close them as soon as possible. Uh, okay, I must go. I'll check in tomorrow to make sure everything's all right, and I'll leave you the next audio tape. Good luck, and have a good night. Alright. First off, I think that something is in one of these suits. Oh, Fred Bear's moving. I don't remember that being there. If that was always there, oh my gosh, I am deaf. Deaf? I am blind. Second... Strange things are starting to happen. Um, I can tell you that right now. Third, something is in my office. It just touched my body, unless I touched that. I probably did, or probably didn't. I'll check back on the footage. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, guys. Guys, we don't have to be like this. Definitely roaming around a lot more. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Okay, so wait, he was just in there. Oh, never mind. I swear, that's a face. It has to be a face. There's no way that is not a face. Oh shoot. Oh, he's waving. Hello. How you doing? Please don't come kill me. Please go back on stage and, you know, do some more stuff. Play some music. I would enjoy the music of the silent night, deadly night. Honestly, I think that they could go for a little more cameras. 
Oh, oh my gosh. No, I clicked off the game. I clicked off the game. Oh, man. I clicked off the game. <laughs> Wait, I'm in full screen mode. How do... Oh my goodness. I clicked off the game. I'm in full screen mode, though. Bruh, I thought it was just going to be like a little peek over, like he's peeking into my office. Oh, man. That's so unfair. Why? I'm in full screen mode. <laughs> okay. If the game developers are watching this, please, please make it to where you don't exit off of your screen because I have two monitors, okay? Uh, probably every YouTuber only needs two monitors, not three, not four, not eight. Two. That's all you need. But since it's full screen mode, instead of like stopping at the barrier of where it is supposed to stop, it went across and I clicked off screen while trying to press the button. I don't even think, did I even get the jump scare in? I don't even know. Man, that's so, oh. It got me because I wasn't expecting it. That's something that you need to expect in this game. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end it right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. It would definitely help me and support the channel as well. If you guys want to play this game, link would be down in the description below. This is actually going to be a nice game. If the game will come out, I will play it. But I also have a another game. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's Wolves signing off.